Hey, what's up everyone? This is the watch list video for Monday, March 7th. Before I get into it, um, real quick, I've, I've come up with this quick explanation in case somebody is watching this for the first time has never heard of me before, right? So what we're all about is making money between the bells, the opening bell and the closing bell. That is, this is not investing, it's day trading. So I'm gonna start tomorrow <clears throat> watching the following list of stocks plus, mor plus morning gappers that we find in the pre-market. As the day unfolds, we'll also use our scanners to help us find new stocks to watch as well and apply A-plus setups to those if they form. Then we'll do our best to only take A-plus setups, scaling out into strength and tenaciously protecting against the downside. So if a trade's not working, we'll accept that our premise isn't playing out the way we planned and get out. We never average down or anything like that. You got to learn when you're wrong, get out, and then you move right on looking for the next setup all right so anyway that's that's a little uh disclaimer i want to put out there explain what we do um starting with the spy daily chart as i always do it gap down sold off but ended up closing about where it opened as i've been saying we've certainly got a lot of headline risk so you definitely have to be aware during the trading session that uh headlines can come out and move certain markets like the entire market or oil plays and that sort of thing all right um, before I get into the watch list for tomorrow, I'm going to slide this over. This was one of my calls. Um, people in the chat room and, and our uh, day trading course students understand this. If you're just reading it for the first time, you probably have no idea what the heck I'm talking about. But this was AA is the symbol, 15's buy zone, whole number flush idea. I was looking below 85 as this was falling. Um, and I had my bid at 84.86, which filled about where that arrow is. And I'll switch to AA so you can see where it went from there. I'll go to five minute candles and you can see right. I mean, basically got filled right at the bottom. I love that setup and ended up going all the way to uh, almost 91 from that uh, 84, 86 entry that I had. That was one of the highlights from Friday. I also called GBR opening range, basically over the high of day. So this was the early high. Oil was going crazy. Oil plays were going crazy. And, and you've heard my, if you watch my videos lately, you know, I've been talking about these baby oil plates that have not participated in the big uh, oil rip, right? And so today, or today, Friday, they finally did. Um, my idea was uh, GBR basically over this 331 early high. And then when it went, it broke, it went nuts. And um, you'll see a couple others as I go into the watch list for uh, Monday. So maybe they're finally starting to play along. But all right, let's just get to the top of the watch list. Um, CYRN, after this big rip, it's just chopping sideways. Definitely want to keep an eye on that one. EJH, I don't really like penny stocks, but let me zoom in to show you. It did gap up, 53 million shares, sold off, but then ended up going up at the um, end of the day. I'll show you intraday. Closing kind of strong. So this one maybe has a follow through day on Monday. We're going to keep an eye on it. But again, I don't really like stocks in that price range. Let me pan out a little bit to give you a better view of this now. This is Seed, S-E-E-D. Good volume for this stock, but still only a couple million shares um, and a pretty strong move. So we'll watch for a follow through day in that one. MXC is an oil play that if, um, you know, if I hover over these candles here, you can see in, in this box over here, uh, all the stats for it. So just going back to like early February, this thing traded 9,000 shares one day, 33,000 shares, 38,000, 24. So I mean, no volume whatsoever. And then all of a sudden we got big volume and a rip. And this kind of, this was maybe one of them that started the baby oils, as I call them, um, moving. Uh, so anyway, I, I did catch a nice pullback play that I called in chat on this one on Friday afternoon, late Friday. Um, and it certainly deserves to be on watch for the next several days. If you, INDO is the one that really started it all with the low float oil plays. And it just absolutely went nuts on Friday. And then the others kind of caught on, went all the way to 49. So that's kind of what started it. I'm not putting INDO on watch, but I will have it on the chart. So um, anyway, so back to MXC, certainly extended. But if oil keeps doing what it's doing, we're going to look to all of these for an A-plus setup. So that one, GBR, I already talked about that. We're going to watch that one too. And I'll have my eye on some other baby oils as well. Um, Best Buy, I'm putting on Bounce Watch. It had the gap up, then sold off um, on Friday. But I'm just going to put it on Bounce Watch because it's certainly in play. 
Snow, S-N-O-W, had the massive gap down on Thursday, continuing lower on Friday. Um, I want to keep my eyes on that one for a potential bounce setup. Uh, and keep in mind, I'm not bullish on that daily chart, but I'm looking for, as a day trader, remember I make my money between the bells, I'm looking for an intraday bounce play setup. All right, um, so that's S-N-O-W, T-D-O-C. Um, ever since the gap up, which has been, what, a week ago now, and it topped out right around 80 bucks, and then put in a red day, put in a red day again, I started looking for it to possibly turn back up. I have not taken a trade in this since it's been on the watch list for three or four days in a row. Uh, and it keeps bleeding lower. Now I'm almost thinking I'd like to see a big push down and I'd like it under 60 for an intraday bounce. Um, but I am going to keep it on the bounce play watch list because I've watched it a few days in a row. I'm just going to keep watching it. C-A-R-G, big rip back here about a week ago. Nice follow through day. And now we've got four days in a row down um, into that buy zone area that we look for on declining volume. So that one goes on bounce watch. B-M-B-L. This is just an oversold snapback bounce potential, right? It's it's bleeding lower, bleeding lower, and it's starting to get that downside shape change, extra volume. Um, obviously, there's no support on the chart because it's it's sitting at all time lows. But it's it's um, you know a good prospect just chart wise for a snapback bounce. Obviously, I won't take it unless I get an A plus setup. And kind of the same thing with Rivian um, EV maker, uh, just straight down for four days in a row, hitting new all time lows. Another good recipe for a snapback bounce. And maybe, maybe the EV plays get you know catch on here too with oil getting sla uh, oil slamming uh, everybody's pocketbook, right? Um, people might say, hey, we really need to start looking at these EV plays. So um, that's another thing to watch. And we'll add gappers to this list in the pre-market. I'm done babbling. I'll see everybody on Monday morning.